Representing the 17 to 24 foot class in the bay boat category, the Young Gulf Shore 22 has an overall length of 22 feet 3 inches, a beam of 8 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 250. Designed to float shallow and run over open water, she has a draft of 11 inches, a dead rise of 12 degrees, a dry weight of 1,300 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 53 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Cap, in all these years of doing the show, all boats are fun. But aren't some boats more fun than others? Absolutely, Rick. I tell you what, we're on a fun one today. I got to ride it early this morning. Running a young Gulf Shore 22 is a kick. It's a shot of adrenaline all its own. Absolutely. You know what a big fan I am of this style of boats, and we don't see too many of them. It's just so smart in so many ways. It offers a lot of advantages. And the first thing you think of is the height advantage and the visibility, but it goes so much deeper than that. I wondered if it was too narrow for an elevated platform like that. George, it's not at all, okay? It's eight feet wide, and we were offshore running today. The truth is, you're not nearly as tipsy up in that elevated helm as you think you'd be, okay? We talk about hole shot a lot and how a boat does with hole shot. This boat has almost none. It goes from running slowly flat to running very fast flat without rising like that. That's because of a 13 degree dead rise, which also makes it a lot more stable when you're running from that higher platform. Well, let's start looking around because there's a lot more features than just that raised helm. That opens up a whole new world of storage for you too. Let's take a look. You bet, let's start right here. All right, I wanna talk about deck space and storage that's created by it, all right? This is a really nice size platform to stand on a fish out of up here. You know, but look at the size of that hatch in front of you right there. So much storage inside there. There's room for the three batteries to run this crawler motor in there, but so much extra room on top of that, and that's not all of it. There's a bunch of storage boxes on this boat. Let me tell you something that speaks about construction too, George. I love standing on a big box like this, a big box type. You know what you hear? Nothing, okay? There's no sag, there's no creaking, there's none of that. That's when you know a hatch is built the way it should be. I love everything about this area up here. All right, Cap, let's walk toward the back. I have something here I really want to show you. Let's go see the star of the show here. All right, man, you're taller than me finally. How's the view up there? <laughs> Let me tell you how good it is. Hey, you know our buddy Ramsey that's way out there on that point fly fishing? Yeah. Don't say anything, but there ain't no fish out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people call this a riser. Some people call it a tower. It doesn't matter what you call it. There's a lot going on up here. Let's start with where you're standing. I mean, everything within arm's reach, you've got rod holders all around you. George, I've not only got rod holders all around me, all right? Here's my sim rad. I can read the bottom. I can deploy my motor. I can deploy my power poles. I can do my trim and tilt. I can raise the motor on a jack plate. I can run every system on this boat from right here in this little pot. We're using every square inch of this area. You think that this thing's going to take up a lot of room and clog up the boat? It's not. They Put a backrest into the tubing here, got a cooler seat with a cushion on it, cool, all right? You got a big box, the riser part of the thing, the framework underneath this fiberglass box, and then another storage box behind that. In the back, you've got a tackle center, store fish and tackle in it, every inch of the thing useful. Now, they've also incorporated a really effective use of space in the back on this rear casting platform. Actually, I was gonna say, let's move back. I'm gonna move back. I don't wanna move you off your high horse. You stay right where you're at. I'm staying up here, I love it. Let's talk about this rear casting deck, man. I mean, it starts right here. This seat right here across the back, if this was the only storage area on the whole boat, there'd be more than enough storage for a boat this size underneath there. This backrest removable, fold that thing up. Well, that one easily fits inside that space and doesn't take up any space in there doing it, all right? Underneath my feet right here, two really nice 30-gallon live wells, one right here on the port side, one in the center. There's another box right here that's got a lift-out tray that you can fill with stuff, pull it out of there if you need to, and underneath there, you've got access to your through-haul fittings and more storage. George, the young Gulf Shore 22, she's 22 feet long, she's eight feet wide, every single inch has been used functionally. There's an awful lot to love if you're an all-around fisherman that is serious about his 